Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and we are back with Assetto Corsa Competizione. And what I thought I would do today is, we're going to do a quick 5 minute race on uh, Brands Hatch. We're going to be driving the Lamborghini. Um, we have our starting position set to random, so, you know, whatever it picks for me is, is what it is. Um, there's no qualifying or anything like that. Uh, we're only going to have 10 opponents, and this race is going to be a 5 minute race, and I'm going to do it on the controller. Now, I have done some uh, practice laps with the controller. I can honestly say, it's not really that bad. Um, so, for all you guys out there that want to get into a racing game and are thinking about getting this and you don't have a wheel, because I know not everybody has, like, the two, three hundred dollars to spend on a racing wheel on a force feedback wheel or anything like that. So, I thought I would give it a try on the controller. So, let's, uh, let's start the session. And, uh, what happens, happens, guys. Alright, so it looks like they put me in third place, which isn't a bad spot to be in. Now, I will say that when you start a race on this game, it's kind of weird because you have to drive side by side for a little bit before the race actually starts, and that usually, uh, it's kind of weird for me because I'm not, I'm just not used to that. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to get into the race, and I'm probably not going to talk too much during the race, uh, just because, you know, you've, you've seen how I drive talking, and honestly, it's probably not that much better with me not talking uh, and again I apologize if I'm not the best at these games but uh, it's all about having fun and I like to have fun so uh, let's start this race shall we Alright, so we're just kind of going slow until we get the race to start, which will be coming up pretty soon. Green light, green light. There we go. And we are racing. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Uh, what I plan on doing after this too is I plan on doing a five minute race with the wheel. Maybe that'll be uh, a separate video though to keep these videos kind of down in time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. It's not too bad. Like, obviously it's a lot more fun with the wheel I feel, but uh, it's definitely doable with the controller. You know, if you don't have a wheel, you're not going to have any problem driving on the controller, I don't think. And I'm just not that good with the controller because I'm so used to driving with the wheel. There is a lot of differences going from wheel to controller. As you can hear, man, you can hear all the rattles and everything like that in the car. Very cool. I love the sounds of this game. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to the guy in second place. He is... He is fast. Now, it does seem like the steering is a little more... Uh, hmm, how, do I, how do I say it here? I don't know how to explain it, but... A lot more corrections, it feels like, with the analog stick than I had to do with the, uh, the actual wheel. But that's probably to be expected. But as you can see, I'm not getting around the track bad at all. I'm not breaking any records, but again, that's because I'm really not used to doing these games with the with the uh, the controller ever since I got the steering wheel. That's not to say I'd be any faster on the steering wheel. Did he just say we're halfway through, give it up? 
That's a... Uh... That's not a very good spirit. <laughs> I hope the sound levels are a little better in these racing games. It seems like it's always hard to get the sound right. You know, actually, I thought I was in third place. I'm in second place, so that's the race leader. So, yeah, he's he's got it. <laughs> I guess there's a reason why he came in first place, right? Or he came in pole position, I should say. I will say that the AI seems pretty good, and I have it lowered because I'm not that good at it, but as you can see, the, uh, the racer behind me, man, he is on me. He isn't, he isn't letting up. He's, he's not letting up at all. So we got about just a minute left in this race. As long as I don't do anything to screw up really bad, P2 should be guaranteed. See, like right there, man, he is right on me. A lot faster in those corners than I am. But yeah, this is all controller, guys. This is, uh... Still pretty fun, I gotta say. I am giving it everything I have, dude. Whoa! And there's my screw-up for the race. Woo! Wouldn't be a race without me screwing up! Time is up, and there's no way I'm going to catch these guys, because for some reason, i that's the one thing I don't know how to do in these racing games, guys. Like, seriously, I don't know how to catch people that are ahead of me. I just can't do it. It's like they had the same cars I have, but they just seem so much more faster than me. I don't... I don't know. And that's how you mess up a race. See, I should have never said that P2 would be guaranteed because I, in fact, did mess up big time, so. That had nothing to do with the controller. And look at now that guy's right on my ass. Yeah, good for him. That didn't have anything to do with the controller. That was just me making a mistake. <laughs> that's all that was. I came in fifth, so you know what? I'm not going to complain too much about that. Oh! Okay, let's end this session. Yeah, I'm not going to complain too bad about that. I mean, I did screw up, and the fact that I screwed up and didn't make it... Now, if this would have been grid, I would have went all the way back to, uh, <laughs> to last place. So, first place ain't too bad. I, I managed to at least recover it. And again, like, I feel that on the other other racing games, and I, again, I know I have the, the settings on beginner, and that's probably a huge part of it. But no matter what I do with the settings on grid or even Project Cars 2, it seems like that when you spin out or when you go into dirt, it's just, that's it. You know what I mean? You, you, it's, it's so hard to recover. In this game, it's a lot easier to recover from those things. So, that right there is five minute race with the controller 
And like I say, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was it was pretty good. I feel like um, I probably would have done better with the with the wheel. Honestly, that's just chalked that up to my uh, my poor inability at these games. But uh, you know, again, if you guys are racing fans and you don't have a wheel and you were curious how this is on a uh, controller, it's good. And I mean, you know, if you're uh, if you're better than I am, which I'm sure you all are then you're going to do absolutely great. And I mean, I know that there's a lot of guys that are on Project Cars 2 and the F1 games and Grid and all those other racing games that are on controllers. So if you are good with controllers on racing games, then guys, you're going to be you're going to be fine with this game. Not a problem at all. All right. So, I hope you found this video a little bit informative, um, if not entertaining. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and uh, again guys, don't uh, don't let this game kind of uh, intimidate you. If you want to get into racing games, I would honestly say this is a really good one to start at, because I still feel that this is probably one of the nicest racing games that I've played on yet. That doesn't have me just completely spinning off the course the minute I hit the gas. So yeah, as usual, I hope you're all having a great day. And we will see you next time, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, before we end this video, we're going to give you a little bit of a bonus section here. I'm going to leave you with the replay highlights from that last race. So uh, you can enjoy kind of a cinematic type of thing. So uh, enjoy. Enjoy.